Good morning, how are you guys? Today, I'm going to make a video that I've been avoiding uh, making. And that's because our Emerald Green Arborvita didn't make it. And it was my fault. <laughs> so what was happening, they were all on drip. They were all growing great. One morning I was having coffee right here uh, in my kitchen uh, breakfast table and I can see a straight shot to the Emerald Green Arborvita. And I saw our shepherd mark them. And for those of you who have male dogs, normally it's not a one and done. <laughs> they do it repeatedly. And I just had this sinking feeling, oh no, how long has he been doing that? And I need to go and rinse that off. So in my infinite wisdom, <laughs> not, I began to water them down consistently, like all the time. <laughs> One day we were at the nursery uh, buying some other plants and I asked the owner, I said, listen, I said, we've got some Emerald Green Mart Arborvita. They've been doing really great, but all of a sudden they're looking really yellow. They're not crispy, but they're super yellow. And so I'm thinking, shoot, do they need more water? I thought I was giving them enough water. Here I am spraying down him his stuff and they're on drip but our summers are six months long last summer was rough this summer actually has been a summer for the record books and so I began to tell him what what I did <laughs> he had this smile on his face super nice he said you overwatered him of course I felt really guilty because I knew it was my fault and he said listen he said it'll burn little parts of the plant but it's not going to destroy the plant and i know that now i should have taken a cue from our creeping fig because he's done that all along our back wall i don't know if you can see part of the creeping fig from the from the camera maybe we'll show that near the end but near the base there's a lot of burnt leaves but the plants are doing great so we pulled them out and because they don't sell those here year round they only come to the nurseries around fall and spring I thought well shoot do we plant them again do we put something else in its place I loved them they were beautiful and they were doing great until I started over watering them I've been going back and forth I you know talked to my husband should, should we do a tree should we do other plants should we try and get our hands on some more arborvita because that's such a large area I felt like I needed to, if I did the arborvitae, I would have to chicken wire it off. And I didn't want to do that. I've always wanted an Oklahoma red bud, so that's what we decided on. It grows about 15 to 20 feet tall and about 15 feet wide. And in the spring, oh, the most beautiful purple and pink blooms all over the entire tree. It's a very short show but it's gorgeous and there's on six to nine i know they do well here because a lot of the commercial landscapers actually use these and i never saw red buds when we lived in southern california um, so i really didn't know anything about them until we moved here about 20 years ago and i love them so that's what we're going to do today <laughs> we're going to go back in the corner and get this thing planted and now I know, I'll put it on drip, leave it alone. All right, enough talking. <laughs> Let's go plan it.
still need to run drip, kind of clean up around the tree, but the sun's starting to come over and so before everything gets washed out, I wanted to show you a bit of the creeping fig and what I mean by it's still living even though he has marked it on the bottom. You can tell the leaves are a little crispy and that's where he's marked. However, up here, the plant's still alive and it's still growing. Maybe when we're done, we'll do a pan of the whole thing. I would say roughly it's about 90% covered, maybe 85%. As we pan down, you'll be able to tell where it's been growing and they've kind of, the vines have merged, but not quite yet covered. This is really the only last bare spot. I think when it's all said and done, I think I made a good decision. We made a good decision by putting that in there. And I think come spring, it's gonna just give a really great show. I've left this area largely untouched, mostly because I've left this his domain, my shepherd. But slowly I've been adding plants and dividing some grasses and some agapanthas and geraniums. Um, so hopefully this next spring, I can give you a backyard tour uh, of what everything will look like. I was gonna let you know, I'm trying to plant around him, meaning I'm giving him a pathway because he likes to run through the perimeter of the yard. So I'm trying to work around him and still make my yard, our garden, a little bit more beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye.